Hello and welcome back and yes we are still at the QNAP stand here at Copitex 2019. For those of you that have followed this channel, NAS Compare, Span and others, you're probably very familiar with this tiny device. It's not a lighter and it's not a phone charger. This is a USB to 5 gigabit Ethernet adapter. That's right. So on your PC, your Mac, your tablet, your, your whatever, if you've got a USB connection that's outgoing, you're able to connect this and thereby connect to an existing network of up to five gigabit ethernet. Now, if you own a NAS that's got a 10 GPE port that uses copper, like this device here, then you can connect directly with that NAS and get five times the speed of the usual ethernet, which can be more than enough for a number of you photo and video editors out there and people that use post-production techniques. Now, one of the reasons this is such a popular device is because first and foremost, it's bus powered, two, it's fanless, and three, it is plug and play. That means that this device can instantly be connected to the devices in your network to take advantage of those heightened speeds. But moreover from that, it works both ways. So this device can also be connected to a number of supported NASs, I believe in the latest version of QTS, I know their beta 4.4.1 is now available. You can connect this device via USB to your NAS and then give that NAS 5 GBE ports. With that two-way working system, that is exceptionally advantageous for this device. Now, once again, it doesn't require any drivers per se from QNAP, but it's worth mentioning that it does use the Quantia controller inside. So you may need to update your drivers in order to take advantage of it. And you may need to download drivers directly from a Quantia or from QNAP. It's going to be available very soon indeed, and I am looking forward to having it in the studio back in Blighty. We've already seen the Thunderbolt version of this device, and it's going to be great to see how it performs in content creation, video production, Steam and backups, maybe even virtualization, utilizing this brand new device. Really looking forward to seeing it, and I hope you are too. I'll see you on the next video.